Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today you're joining me from my bathroom. I've just had a bath, washed my hair, and then I put a hair mask in. I'm using a new one from Christopher Robin. And I left that in for half an hour after washing my hair and my hair feels amazing after using it. Got a little bit of a tint to it for red hair, um, which I usually steer clear of because they freak me out. But I used it last week and, or a few weeks ago maybe two weeks ago and I really loved it and it made my hair feel super soft. So yeah, I basically just wanted to film this video in a vlog style, just updating you on some of the products I'm loving at the moment and I also need to give my hair a little trim which is very overdue because it's getting super long and I think I might style my hair with my Dyson air wrap styler as well so i will show you how i do that and then i also need to do my nails these are coming on for about two weeks now and they still look really good they're obviously coming further away from the cuticle but yeah they're starting to chip a tiny bit at the sides now so i thought well i've got the time today i will give myself a little manicure got a busy day tomorrow seeing people so this will get me in a good state for seeing them. <laughs> These are the hair products I just used. I used the Living Proof Anti-Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner. And then this is the Christopher Robin Shade Variation Mask. And they sent over Chic Copper. So this was gifted to me. Um, and I don't, they didn't tell me I had to post about it or anything. Um, I just tried it out and I was like, oh. Gosh, I really like that. <laughs> but that product, you have to wash your hair as normal and then put it in when it's wet. Wait half an hour, rinse out, and wear gloves if you're gonna do it. Because the first time I did it, I nearly stained my hands very orange. <laughs> I haven't been wearing much foundation recently, but I've been adding a little bit of this Bare Minerals Pro Concealer underneath my eyes and in anywhere I need it. And then I blend it in on quite a fluffy brush and I just feel like it sort of blends out the product really well and moves it over my face. Okay, I'm gonna put a tiny bit of my Bobbi Brown Powder Pink Cream Blush. And then on the same concealer brush, I am gonna take the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And I've just realized there's quite a lot of product around the bottle, so whoa. I'm gonna take that and just put it on all the high points. I love this stuff, especially if I'm not wearing much foundation. It just really gives my skin a good glow. And you can't really go too overboard with this stuff because it's not super sparkly or anything. It just really is a just a natural glow. Do a little bit of brows. And then I always use the Benefit 24 hour brow set. This is my new favourite palette at the moment. It's Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a palette, Pretty Blush Beauty. And it's got your face powders and some eye products here. I like to take the bronzer contour shade first and put that on the outside corner of my eye. And then I take the super sparkly shade and add that across my lid. And then there's a darkish brown at the edge. I'm gonna put that along my lash line. And then a bit of mascara, this is the Glossier Lash Slick. Oh, I feel like that's really hard to say without slurring your words. Lash Slick. <laughs> and then finishing off the look with a Glossier Ultra Lip in the shade Portrait. Can you hear the ducks outside? 
So there you go, that's my super quick daily makeup at the moment. Okay, I'm going to do the hair trim now. So I'm going to take this towel out. I'm going to start by finding my centre parting. And then I'm just going to start by doing what I always do, which is bringing all the hair forwards and then using a hair tie just to tie it up at the front. Makes me laugh every time. It looks so silly. So I'm not going to take too much off this time because I do want to keep my hair quite long for summer. So I'm just going to take probably about that much off to start with and then we can go in and do each layer. And then I like to brush down the hair and I just make sure that the end length of the hair isn't too angular so I sort of straighten them all out a little bit. So then I like to just take it in smaller sections and make sure everything is all lined up. So I'll take my comb, just comb through it and make sure it's nice and straight at the bottom. Making sure I do the same angle each time, the way I'm tilting my head and everything. And then I will start to go in and add my layers. So I like to just take sections like this from, I'd say starting from anywhere above the eyebrow and I just bring them up and chop straight up and then I might do it again taking a little bit more off this time um, and sometimes I just chop into them a bit like this just to get some nice layers going on so I'll show you that again I just take the hair up And then I cut straight up first and then into it. And then I don't think I need to trim these front bits. I might just check they're the same length still. I don't want to make these super short at the moment. I think I'll just take the tiniest bit off them just so they're looking nice and healthy might actually try putting a few even shorter layers up in this top section. Because I like my hair long but it does start to get flat and sort of lose body so hopefully this will help a little bit having a few shorter layers in there. So before I start drying my hair, I'm just gonna add a little bit of the Living Proof Weightless Styling Spray. This is the anti-frizz styling spray and it works like magic. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna rough dry my hair with this attachment on a warm setting. I'm then gonna use the small barrels to give my hair a little bit of bounce and volume so just take it in small sections on a warm I, I use the middle setting so it's not too hot but it's not too cold and then I hold it on the cold before I release it so I'm just going to do that for my whole head and then I'll show you what it looks like I've had to move the camera because the sun was just way too strong behind the camera. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of hairspray in my hair, set all those curls. Oh, the lid fell off. So now I'm just going to let the hairspray set in my hair and then I can brush through it. So I've left it a few minutes and I'm just going to gently <laughs> brush through the curls. I just love what the Dyson Airwrap does to my hair, it's just magical. 
So there we go, that's the finished hair look. I'm really happy with my trim. I think adding those shorter layers at the top has really helped give so much more volume. This is what it looks like at the back. Such a good feeling when your hair is freshly chopped and blow dried and you're all clean. <sighs> I'm gonna do my nails in a minute, so I'll show you how I do that. I'm probably gonna take them off before I start filming because that's a bit of a pain. I'll get back to you when I'm doing my nails. Now actually much later, it's nearly, well it's half nine in the evening <laughs> and I completely forgot to film me doing my nails. To be honest, you didn't miss much. <laughs> I just went for a nice bright red shade. The varnish, well, it's a gel polish, um, so it takes quite a while to do because you have to cure it each time. The varnish was really watery, so it was actually such a nightmare. But anyway, I thought I'd come on and say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed following me along on my little pamper evening. Whilst I was doing my nails, I got a bit hooked on the film Crazy Rich Asians, and I don't know why I haven't watched it before. Um, I think I've always been a bit put off by the adverts, but it's actually really good. And yeah, it's a nice, easy watch. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm enjoying it. So now I'm gonna go and take my makeup off and take my contact lenses out and probably go downstairs and watch some TV. Look at this hairy beast. Oh, oh, she doesn't like cuddles. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like if you did and I will see you all in my next video bye